everybody. Welcome back to another countertop haul. This is Salvation Army from three times of checking this week. Um, the other day you saw last week's, um, I think it was Saturday I posted that or, su or Monday, something like that. <laughs> I posted the things that I found the previous week, but these are things that I found this week. I went on um, Tuesday because it's the day after a sale. They have senior day on Monday. And then I went on Thursday, which is the day that all the knickknacks and little things like this are 50% off. And then I went again today, which is Friday, <clears throat> to see what they had. And then one of the times that I was in there um, for that store only, they made a, like they, they had like a, I don't know, like a flash sale, I guess you would call it, of the shoes and purses. And generally their shoes are up there. They're like $14.99, $19.99 for shoes. But I found a pair for $12.99 and then I got them half off. And I'm sure Bianca's going to steal them from me, but it's all right. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so you might see this ginormous shell. This thing is fabulous. I mm. saw this in the cart that they pulled out and it has these like lucite, um, you'll hear cars and birds and stuff, guys. My windows are open. Um, it has these like lucite leg stand things. At first when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. Like I'm like behind, a lot of people have seen that show Mad Men. And it's like, um, it starts off in 1960 and then throughout the seasons, it works its way. I think I'm like on season six and they're in like 1968 or something like that. But anyways, so one of the main characters is married and right beside his bed is this, um, like seashell ashtray that his wife puts his, her cigarettes out in. So when I first saw it, that's what I thought it was. Um, but it looks like it's maybe just a piece of decor. You could put it like that. Oh my gosh, don't do that. <laughs> or you could lay it down this way if you wanted. Just don't do what I just did. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty awesome. This was regular price. I picked this up today, so there was no sale. Today is either student discount and I didn't have the kids with me or Veterans Day. So yeah. Didn't get a sale on that, so $3.99. And those um, I saw sold just, well, I saw one just like this with the Lucite legs that was uh, sold for $45 or $42, something like that. So this should do well, especially um, being able to date it with these legs. All right, so then I got this. And don't be fooled by this. Um, this I was, I was going back and forth with. It's so cute. It's a, it's a, like a porcelain casserole dish. It is by, let's do this one handed guys. Oh my goodness. It was at TJ Maxx. Someone bought it. It's by Grace's Pantry. Um, there are, I think there was one listed for like $45 or something like that. Or it was, and I don't. I don't know if it ended without selling. I I don't remember because I looked it up in the store. Of this particular color, This I found one. And then I found a bunch sold and listed that um, were red hearts. They were different shapes, but this one happens to be this square casserole dish. Um, so I, I bring all my little things up to the counter and some of the things I was excited because I got like, I found half off stickers. And again, you'll hear the cards and stuff, but I found half off stickers. And I was like, yes, you know, because I love a deal. Um, so I bring this up there, and I don't know what the heck bag. It might be in my purse. Let me go get it. All right, well, I can't seem to find that receipt. But what happened was I put all my stuff on the counter, and I was, I was showing her, like, okay, these are the sale colors. These are the regular priced items. And then she's like, <clears throat> I'm, not, I'm not really paying attention because I'm trying to when I put things on the counter, I like put like priced items in a pile so that they can go like quantity for $1.99 or whatever. And then I put the sale items together because I want to be sure that I'm charged the correct price. So um, at in this moment, she was kind of going like a little faster than normally they do. So she's like, oh, here, I just want to show you that your two $9.99 items, which one of them is this one, but this was a sale color. 
um, she goes, I did them for less. So she showed me that she did this one. She keyed it in at $4.99 and then gave me half off. <laughs> so I was about to pay $10 for this thing because I thought it was really pretty. And, you know, and I was like going, I was going to put it back. I was like, hmm, do I really want to spend $10 on that? You know, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, that's just how I, I can be with myself when I'm out there shopping. But um, I ended up getting it for two, $2.49. So I think that's pretty awesome. And no, I don't know the lady. It's a completely different uh, Salvation Army. So it's not like I'm in cahoots with her or something like that. Like I got some comments on some other videos about. So just so you know. So anyways, yeah, that's that story. And then I, let's see, this is half off day. I got this little guy half off. He's um, B&G, uh, like little porcelain figurines. They, they have all kinds of little ones. They have ones that are colored, like, you know, they're painted. And they have ones that are like this that are all white. And it's just this little naked little baby. And he's listening to a, a seashell. <clears throat> it depends on what the subject matter is, what they go for. They go... I mean, these things can go way up there or they can be around $15. So there's that. And then also to note that some of them are older and, you know, more contemporary pieces were put out. Then you come down here and we have these little white birds. Um, one of them I noticed when I was taking it out of the bag. It's underwing is chipped, you see there? I didn't really see it from the top, but from the bottom I saw. So these are on half off day as well. So I got these for 49 cents a bird. They're not marked. I don't think they're terribly old, um, but they would look cute in a little spring sort of, unless you're just like a bird lover, but like in a little spring decor type um, display. And then I got this little gobel bird. It looks like he's got some paint splatter on him. And I thought that's what that was, but that's a tiny little chip in the paint. On the tip of his tail so it says Google West Germany he was 99 cents because I got him on half off day so he's pretty awesome I've bought and sold um, a few of these birds now um, I've not sold them on eBay so not sure what they would go for on eBay but Etsy I was able to get about 15 a bird and then we come back here and this is what I was excited about finding for their half off, don't mind my nails again. <clears throat> their half off color was green. So um, open it up and the lid looks all right. Yes, it's got crazing, of course, but over here, it's got this chip and that is a brand spanking new chip that is not very old at all. It does have some markings in there. And then on the bottom, it looks like it's a crack or something, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it is. Oh, there we go. I can kind of feel it. But anyways, so this is one of the items that I was excited. I was like, oh, $4.99, but she put it in as $3.99, and then I got it half off of that. So I got an extra dollar off, but it's Royal Ironstone, Johnson Brothers. And you know, the last, last week and this week, um, I had never found anything specifically that said ironstone. I'd see things like this, um, you know, similar pottery or platters or, you know, but I didn't ever see anything marked ironstone. And now the past two weeks, I found like three things. So I think that's pretty awesome. So I got that. And then I got two mahogany teakwood bath and body works candles. The lids are disgusting. <laughs> But one of them was burnt a little bit, and one is brand spanking new, and they were 99 cents a candle. So that's freaking awesome. This was 49 cents, these little wax melts. I love florals. This smells like a guy's cologne, if you guys don't know what that smells like. Then we come over here. I found her today. Oh my gosh. She was just coming out of a, uh, on a cart. And let's see, she says Joseph Originals and then $1.99. She, I don't think I, I got regular price for her. She didn't, it was the same lady that rang me like the deal for this and that. <clears throat> I don't think she did anything on this. 
And then this was on half off day as well. It's Catherine Pottery. It was 99 cents. It's got this really cool fish on there. Um, their pottery sells pretty well. Uh, there, there was a, the only similar thing I can really compare that piece in particular to is a vase that just sold um, with uh, the same sort of fish pattern on it. And it just sold for like 40 something dollars. Um, I'm not going to try and sell the mug for, for that. I don't, I don't know if it would go for that. I'm not sure. So I'll have to do a little bit more checking, but that's what I was able to see in the store. And then we have, I wasn't going to get him cause he has some, a little chip on his ear, but he was 49 cents. This little blue Otsugiri single, um, you know, salt shaker got that guy there I did not find another one and if anything I can stick them in my booth I've been running a 50% off sale in my booth to try and clear out to put some new stuff in then I found these beauties I have never ever found flow blue anything and I am not sure if this is because I've never seen it in person I've never found it but you see that how it's like blending in with the white you guys tell me is that the flow blue stuff <laughs> um I did get these luckily on half off day because I was like holy snap buckets when I saw that there were $6.99 for the pair the dang thing is not even the corks aren't even working and it looks like some old tissue paper was shoved up in that one but they're beautiful hand painted and I'm the gold is worn off the little tops but pretty positive those are flow blue i think so then we come over here and we have some heath pottery and heath pottery depending on what it is and its colors sells really well so i got it was a dollar 99 a set for the cup and saucer I'm trying to get that off for you so you can see it so i got them for 99 cents a set so you have heath pottery and they're like this really earthy green and brown like the see the plates are like a greenish they're really interesting in color I'm trying to think of where to put it here maybe I'll move these I was setting it up to take a thumbnail so that's why everything's kind of shoved together <laughs> and then I got these um Bath and Body Works agave papaya sunset mm, smells delicious um these were $2.49 a piece. I got them on half off day. Then we come over here and I spotted this like crackle glass, like amberina type vase. And I got it for 99 cents. It's got like a crude Pontio mark on the bottom. No chips or cracks or anything that I can feel or see. So that's pretty awesome. I got a bunch of books about crackle glass. And then come over here and this beautiful thing. It's this gorgeous like cobalt glass. Hand painted with this gold like overlay. It's got some petals. Um, I don't know if that's missing or that's just for dimension. But they're gorgeous. And then on the bottom it's engraved. Murano glass. It was $2.49 for this. I didn't find too much on half off day. Found it throughout the rest of the week and paid a normal price. <laughs> um, I found this on half off day. Actually, this was in someone's cart and I was like, darn it all because they're, you know, flamingos and it's pretty cool. Um, and as I was walking around waiting for them to put stuff out, I found this shoved in the like on the shelves where a lot of the white dishes are because they, you know, go by colors. They cord color coordinate. So, yes, when I saw the price, it's probably why she put it back. It was $19.99, but it was half off. I got it for $10. It's kind of heavy, so I don't want to pick it up because I don't want to knock anything over. But it's signed on the bottom, um, and it says Atlantic Molds, and it says like 1998. So, that makes it like 20-something years old, so that's not too bad. And it's a pretty substantial piece. Then we'll talk about this big old green blob back here. It was 
$3.99 and it was in the same purchase as this. So since I can't find my receipt, I can't exactly tell you. She didn't name everything she gave me a deal on. She just specifically mentioned these $9.99 items. And then she gave me that figurine. Where is it? Is it here? Not this one. Oh, I must have set her down somewhere. Oh, there she is. They, she gave me something else for 50 cents and that's like unheard of. They don't like have 50 cents there. But anyways, it's this, I don't want to pick this up either. It's this giant like mushroom toadstool with this cool green. And I got like five compliments while I was holding it saying, wow, that's a good find. And it was just sitting on the shelf, you know, when I walked in. It does have a chip in the, the glaze, but there's that. And then, all right, I was debating on if I should break this up, but I guess I'll just keep going. If I don't talk as much, it'll go a little bit faster for you guys. I found this glass paperweight. It says patented January 30th, 1900, which is true. This is from 1900, James Adair. And this is a paperweight that would have had a, like a spiral like spring and it would have held letters. Um, it just doesn't have the spring here, but you could put your pen there if you wanted to do like a pen holder on your desk or whatever. But um, this was regular price, 99 cents. I picked it up today. I got these big giant, well, there's one, not these, there's one. This giant um, iron, it's so heavy, <laughs> like uh, gear. It says patent pending LS4. That's about all I see on it. And then one of these smaller gears. Oh, this one has some marking right there, like R170. But these can be like farmhouse decor, like um, steampunk, like industrial salvage type decor. Uh, so those were an awesome find. They, he rolled it out in a, the guy rolled it out in a bin that had like this in it. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so this was the girl she gave me for 50 cents. Poor June. Look at her. Her halo's broken. Her wing is being held on with some damn scotch tape. Poor thing. So it didn't have a price sticker. So the guy that was putting the stuff out said 99 cents. And then she was like, um, no, I'm going to give that to you for 50 cents. I was like, okay. <laughs> then I got this guy and I know a lot of people don't really get like sort of beanie baby type things. <clears throat> However, every beanie baby I've gotten either that my mom's given to me or I pick them up in like, um, like bags from like Goodwill. I've sold every one of them. So this one was $1.99, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I sent the picture to my mom with its information. She couldn't even find it in, like, a Google search. I couldn't find it either. So, we'll see. It's a, a Beanie Buddy for the Chicago Cubs versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is the uh, Peace Bear for the year 2000. So, has his little information. He's probably been taken out because his tag looks a little yellowed or whatever, or maybe, I don't know. So we'll see about that. And then we come over here and I got this Yankee candle for 50% off. It's Christmas apple spice. And I was worried about it being too cinnamony because I mean, I don't mind a cinnamon scent, but Gabriel and my husband really don't like cinnamon, but it does smell like cinnamon, but I'll just burn it when they're not around. <laughs> And then we got this set of four, and I couldn't believe I found a set of glasses. I mean, ever do you really find at this particular Salvation Army a set of glasses. These were 99 cents a glass. There is, there was one, let's see, now this was a, um, there was one sold. There's a couple different designs is what I was going to say. Um, this one just sold, I can't remember what it sold for you guys. I looked it up in store. I look up so much stuff and I try and shove my brain full of information. And then when I go and do these videos, I feel like I just go blank. So I apologize for that. Um, then the next thing I got was these Altier, let me see. Um, let's see, made exclusively for domestications. Can you guys see that? There we go. Honeymoon Island stoneware. 
was this the one that was yeah exclusive by american altier right there at the bottom oh, oh my gosh you guys someone has a set of four dinner plates for 175 dollars um they didn't sell because i looked since i looked at the listing i got a notification that it had been relisted a little while before i did this video so they're they're not selling for 175 <laughs> Um, and then there's, there was one other, I don't think it was mugs. I think it was more plates underneath it. That was about a hundred dollars. So we'll see. I just thought they were interesting. Yeah, you guys, there's monkeys. I know you guys didn't like the monkey. Um, but the whole thing was two forty nine. So I was like, I'm going to try those. Then I got this little, I actually had Bianca in mind for this little, um, lunchbox. It's from the Smithsonian. It does sell. It's sold a few, quite a few times like, like between like 12 or 10 and $15. But I got it for her. She could probably um, use it as decoration, but then also store like her pencils or something in there. I also picked the, this up for her. She likes to paint. And I was going to save it. Let's cut is that inside or outside? I was going to save it towards Valentine's Day, but she, I didn't get to do this video before she came home and she was out of everything on here. She spotted the canvases. That's the only thing she commented on. <laughs> All right. Then I picked this up. I'm going to keep this Virgo mug because that is me. It is a federal glass mug, probably about this 1960s. So got that. Last couple of things, I got this really cool um, seafood, like soup bowl. One side has the crabs and the shells, or a crab and shells. And then the other side has crawfish and peppers. And it's double handled. It looks similar to this maker, this designer that, I can't remember the name now. See, I'm like, what am I good for? <laughs> Sorry, guys, but um, it doesn't have his name on it, so it probably won't sell for as much, but still, it's really cool, and I only sell one of them. I needed a smaller sauce-type sized pot, or like one you can make macaroni or something in, because oh, I just needed one badly. I had to get rid of my other one, so I got this one. It's by Chantel, Chantal, however you want to say that. Um, so yeah, I got that for me. It'll probably clean up with, um, it's got some like scuff marks in there with, um, barkeeper's friend. Here are the shoes that I was telling you guys about at the beginning. They're like brand new Converse. They were like not really even maybe tried on or something. Um, but yep. I got her like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago now, like an all black pair of Converse. And now I find these like speckled ones. So got those. And then the last thing that I got other than a few Star Wars shirts for Gabriel <laughs> is this gun. I want to say this was, yeah, from Minions. <laughs> and Gabriel used to play with it at the store when he was little. But this gun was like 20 or $30. And I was like, nope, not going to happen. And it makes rather gross noises. <laughs> And as soon as I grabbed it, I was like, oh my God, Bianca's going to hate me because she cannot stand how people think like poop jokes and fart jokes are funny. She can't stand it. So of course I showed her that and she was like, oh my God, mom, what have you done? But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this really long video. Um, make sure you guys leave me down below. What is your favorite item that I found this week? at Salvation Army. Salvation Army has been killing it. It really has. And then let me know, guys, what would you leave behind? I'm I'm going to take a guess for you guys right now, and let, we'll see if I win. Let's see. What would it be? I'm going to probably guess this toy, the tooting gun, and probably the beanie baby. And if anyone says anything else, possibly the cat. Possibly. So that's what I'm guessing. You guys let me know down below what's your favorite item. What would you have left behind? 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos if you would. Go ahead and check me out over on Instagram. Make sure you follow me over there. And I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye.